Hi everyone, and welcome to the first ever video of this channel, AI Explained, where we will cover various topics in the field of artificial intelligence in an in-depth manner. So the topic of this video is going to be meta learning, which is an extremely hot and active field of research within the AI community. So let's just get started. So the entire idea of meta learning is actually based upon a very simple observation, and that is that humans can learn very quickly. Now, if you don't believe me, I can simply show you. So for, suppose there is an object that you have never seen before in your life. So suppose it is this weird thing. Now, let me tell you that I call this thing an O-ring. And I dare to say that you have now learned the concept of an O-ring just from this simple example. So let's test this hypothesis. So let's go to a different background. Let's put an object in here. And I am sure that you will recognize that this is indeed an O-ring. So you have learned the concept of O-ring from just a single example that I showed to you. This goes to show that humans can learn extremely quickly. On the other hand, we have neural networks that also try to learn some of the things that we humans do. And yes, they can achieve human level or even superhuman level performance on some tasks, but they learn in a very slow manner. So you can ask yourself, why is that? Now, to answer this question, we can take inspiration from evolution. So we will do so by this very simple example where we have some individuals. Suppose we have a slow learner, a medium learner, a stump learner, and a fast learner. And you can already imagine that the fast learner may have some advantage over the other individuals, which allows it to reproduce itself, and then there will be more and more fast learners. So evolution will cancel out the slower learners, and we will end up with the fast learners. So what evolution actually did is it gave us a good prior to learn fast. So we have some kind of structure knowledge in our brain already from birth that allows us to learn new tasks, to acquire new skills very quickly. On the other hand, neural networks are often initialized randomly. So what we would actually want to do is we want to do what evolution gave us. We want to find a prior for neural networks and allow it to learn more quickly. And that is precisely what meta-learning is about. So let's take another look at the same example, but this time a bit more closely. So every individual learns on its lifetime basis. So that is what we call inner level learning. So everything you learn in a single lifetime. Now, the evolution process takes place on a different level, and this is called the outer level. And this is actually the search process for a prior. And this is precisely what meta learning is. So we learn on two levels. On the outer level, we search for a prior that allows for fast learning on the inner level. And this is called learning to learn, which is the same thing as meta learning. So thank you all for watching this video. This was a very, very short introduction to the field of meta learning and what the goals are. In future videos, we're going to take a much deeper look at some of the recent works in the scientific community. Here are some of the credits for the images that I used, and I hope to see you guys around in the next video. Bye.